What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a bunch of maintenance to the E90. The E90 is a lot of little things here and there, a much needed oil change, so uh, yeah, I need an oil change because I don't even know when the last time it was done, and every time I start up the engine I'm like, is it even low on oil, is it any good oil in there? So let's go ahead and do an oil change just so we know for peace of mind that the engine is good, see if there's any coolant mixed up in there because that would also be a catastrophic issue. There is a slight smell of uh, gasoline whenever we start up the car, I'm not really sure that that's coming from exactly it could be coming from the rear fuel pump because basically there's a seal underneath the rear seats and if it smells really bad it could be coming from there we need to replace the seal and the fuel pumps so you probably have to do that in an upcoming video but yeah guys some stuff that we actually got into today we got the cheetah wrapped <laughs> we finally got some wrapping for the e90 uh guess what color down below i guess what exact color we got obviously i think cheetah has about maybe like 40 different colors so it's a lot easier to guess it because i already told you what brand it is but try to guess which color we went with down below we're still waiting on the whole kit to come in once the kit comes in we're going to slap it on the car wrap the whole thing uh we did actually order some wheel spaces from burger tuning as well so i'm waiting on those to come in as well some other aesthetic things that i ended up getting I actually got all season floor mats for this car as well i'm spending so much money on this car these I actually got from fcp era because it was just a good deal and it was convenient i mean bmw is awesome and all but i mean fcp is just as great so yeah not only do they sell uh pretty much all the maintenance you need but they actually sell floor mats and other little things for your cars even side mirrors and little pieces uh they're Awesome. And speaking of FCP Euro, we got all the oil we need to do an oil change. I actually got two sets because I'm going to be doing the next car we're going to be getting to this channel pretty soon. I'm actually coming up with a new build pretty soon, guys. So wish me luck. Hopefully it comes through. Everything works out. I'll be getting a new build on the channel. And I'm going to need this oil for that new build. We got some brand new Delphi coils for this car as well. Uh, NGK spark plugs. You know, we got to go with the best of the best. Oil filter, cabin air filter, and I believe that's the air intake filter. So yeah, guys, time to show this car a lot of love. This should be very satisfying. So let's go ahead and get the car in the garage, get all this stuff done. And then actually we still need to replace the passenger door. So you might even do that as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And now that we pretty much finished up the oil change, the next thing we're gonna have to do is uh, get all those cowl things off. So we need to remove this uh, this cover right here to do the ignition coils and spark plugs. Um, I wanna make sure the spark plugs aren't drouched with oil. If I see oil in any of the cylinders, I'm not gonna replace the spark plugs, mainly because I wanna do the valve cover first before doing the spark plugs, and then, you know, just so we don't have to ruin the new NGK spark plugs. Those are not cheap spark plugs, and I would like to preserve them. Um, and if I need to do a valve cover right now, I'll do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and remove all this cowl stuff so we can wash all this stuff off the car wash this thing off the car as well and then when we actually put everything back together the ignition coils and spark plugs hopefully we'll be able to also put in the new cowl right there because that one probably is absolutely in terrible condition i can't let him take my soul nah, 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 no. oh i can't let him take my soul Nah, 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 no. All right, guys, after actually removing all the ignition coils, I didn't actually see any oil in there. As you guys can see, it looks pretty clean each one, but I did remove the first spark plug, and uh, I wouldn't say it's drouched in oil, but there's definitely oil on this spark plug, which means we definitely gonna have to do a valve cover gasket on this. So I'll go ahead and place an, uh, an order on a valve cover gasket. I was really hoping we could just do the spark plugs and ignition coils, but again, if you guys put in new spark plugs, um, you're probably gonna wear it out half its life or a third of its life if you're just gonna put in brand new spark plugs. It's not gonna do the trick. It's gonna burn up real easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back in here, but something I also realized
realize that all these are actually Delphi coils. Um, let me know down below, does a BMW actually come with Delphi coils on the 328s? I thought they didn't, but uh, these ones do. So are these kind of like the new ones? Somebody have already replaced the, the coils? Because in that case, we got brand new coils already in the car. Um, and these spark plugs don't look too bad. They're just pretty much, they have oil on it. But I mean, they, they work for now. So I guess we'll reuse this until we get a new valve cover. No, 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 no. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. They thinking I'm bluffing, but I promise I do it. That K got a drum, like murder and booming. I'm sending you verb if I get my little Uzi. Guys, as I was removing this, look what's disconnected back there. Something's clearly disconnected. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take out this entire intake. Maybe we actually have a broken boot back there. And just take a look at these filters, guys. Like, this car has literally just been sitting in, like, God knows a desert for God knows how long. All right, looking at the throttle body, it actually looks pretty clean, even though it was disconnected. So maybe it was disconnected quite recently. But as you guys can see, it is shiny. So, uh, yeah, probably somebody recently took it off and put it back on. Maybe the insurance did, but uh, that looks like a good thing. Because looking at this, it doesn't look brittle. It just looks like maybe somebody loosened this up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good to me, honestly. We got the sensor on there. Yeah, thankfully no cracks. Doesn't look brittle at whatsoever. At this point, let's go ahead and just open up the box because we got to check out how this filter looks. like that guys new air filter new cow filter new engine oil filter new oil and uh yeah everything should be good to go they actually had already delphi coils in it like i said i'm pretty sure those they even look pretty new uh so those are pretty good spark plugs don't look like they've been replaced too long ago but they do have a little bit of oil on them so i'm gonna run it out see how it works and uh, see if the valve cover is actually leaking we'll check the spark plugs in probably the next 2,000 miles and if it needs to be replaced, we'll replace the valve cover with the spark plugs. Um, and the Delphi, honestly, those coils are good. So I won't probably replace those until we need to. I might actually keep those coils for maybe another build or something. But uh, so far, so good. Recently, my luck on working with cars, I mean, I'm just going to, I'm not actually, I shouldn't even say that. But my luck recently has been good. And I want to, please God, keep it that way. Not in terms of uh, whether it's a good car or a bad car. But like recently, the work itself, you guys know what I mean. Like it's taking me shorter time than usual. Because typically when you start something, you're like on, on, a, on a car, you work on something, you say like, oh, you know, it's only gonna like an hour, hour and a half, it ends up being like three, four hours because you're missing something or you make a mess or whatever. Even the oil change was very clean, so I'm super happy about that. But yeah, guys, the teaser is still there. Let me know what you guys think that wrap is. I'm super hyped to wrap this. Again, we're still waiting on the kit. But in the meantime, while the kit's still trying to get here, we have a door that I want to replace. As for this fender, the, the kit's gonna come with a new fender, so I'm not even gonna touch it. It's just on there to make the car look a little bit better. But as for this door, guys, do have some bad dings down here. So the goal is to remove this door, replace it, junk this door, we'll get it, you know, get all the good parts off of this door. And then the car should pretty much be all one piece other than this mirror. This mirror has been delayed over and over and over. FedEx has been honestly terrible shipping recently. And uh, yeah, let's just focus on that door real quick. Let's get to the door.
we are at the end of the video and uh, in a weird um, location. It's not my place. I'm actually sitting at uh, LA right now all of a sudden. I'm actually in Anaheim right now. Uh, I'll explain everything hopefully in the next couple of videos. That's also why this video was one day delayed. So I'm, the, uh, the next video is going to be also um, one day delayed. So instead of every other day, it's going to be in two days the next video. Reason being, we are at SSR Performance. I dropped off the car this morning and we're getting a lot of work done on it. So not only are we doing the crank up, we're doing two other modifications on the car, which is pretty awesome. But it's going to take a couple days, which also means I'm kind of just sitting here like a sitting duck. So I'm also kind of on a vacation with my wife while I wait for the car to get worked on. I'm going to be recording a few things here and there with SSR and then hopefully get all those content back out and hopefully the next two or three days so bear with me guys but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video and are looking forward for the full body kit hopefully by the time i'm back from this trip we should have the full body kit and all the wrap and actually be able to wrap it all so i'm super hyped for that remember guess what color it is down below but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out